All right, guys, I hope you're doing good. I figured we'd start on a blank white page. This is your first cult meeting, your first Sunday cult meeting. What we're going to be doing here is going over some trades that I made last week, and I want to go over them and show you my process of why I selected the trades, but then how I review my trades myself to figure out the best option to trade to maximize my gain. So you guys are going to see a lot. We're going to go back and forth uh, between the platform, the plays. I'm um, going to show you what I did. One of the plays, I did turn $150 into $1,250. And there was other plays in between. And honestly, it's a great learning lesson because I made a good amount of money, but I could have made a lot more. And the best part, too, you guys could see how the plays I made coincided with the videos I put out and you, the information and all the stuff we we're talking about. So you could kind of get a better idea of how I actually executed on this. Now, there's that. Um, I had another point, but I guess before we get into that too, you this is the cult meeting. So again, you have to, this isn't the cult, but this isn't, it's just, I, I can't say too much, but make sure if you guys haven't, well, first subscribe first. That's where we have to start out. Maybe I'm, I'm trying, I think I'm moving too fast here, but no, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We got new videos every day for you, but get your application if you want to come, how it's going to be. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday trading live with us. But again, here on YouTube, I think on Sundays and the weekends, and I don't know if it's going to be Sunday or not, but I think just Sundays coincide with like cult meetings, you know, but I figured we could go over the trades, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday, if you are going to be pledging, you're going to be able to come watch that live throughout the trading day. And we're going to talk about these plays and whatnot. But at the end of the day, what I'm giving you guys right here, this is Boeing, man. I'm giving you guys my free play of this is great to play during the market uh, decline and upturn. And literally it coincides with every single thing I'm looking at from oil, China and tariffs to Trump and politics. So they get they move a lot. Uh, they're a slow mover. And really, honestly, uh, one of you guys could even just focus on this alone. That's literally if, if I have one person focusing on the option chain alone, that that's what we need in the cult. It'd be great. You guys could focus on this one stock alone, honestly, starting out, try paper trading it. But even then, go check the option chain. That's what I'm doing now <clears throat> with my real money. So we're going to look over the plays I made, when I made them, and kind of how those turned out. So um, let's get into it. Here's the play. You guys could see uh, it's pretty easy to read. Here's the symbol. So if you guys are, you, some, I'm, I'm sure some of you are familiar, especially the creepers out there who've been longing to see this playbook, huh? They're, they're fucking jizzing in their pants right now. <laughs> but, so feel free to ask questions. I'll answer you guys. Just put it on the YouTube and I'll gladly answer it. But if you guys don't know and aren't familiar, this is the contract, the, durate, the expiration, the strike price, call or put. Now you can see I've only done all these. And now this is, I think, only covering, as you guys see, the months. I think I'm only covering all my plays throughout November. So, and these are all my plays on November for Boeing. Um, and I didn't come out as good as I should have. I played it very conservatively, especially compared to, you know, a lot of the volatility last week. Again, somewhat bearish, but it was, it was interesting to see. But we could start. Uh, I made money on a call on October 29th to the next day bought it for 50 cents sold it for 200 now you'll probably see somewhere i'd have to pull up the actual trade log but most of these calls that i do are hedges so i lost on here but overall net gain and then i lost i think these are all kind of in that same duration but these were kind of a wash but now the real plays kind of came from november 6th to november 20th uh, that's kind of when i cut out i think everything um right before i think it was like tuesday a couple days ago <clears throat> but Again, the calls are more likely hedging. Again, I buy these week these weekly calls. Uh, you know, they were they expired in a couple of days, and you you could see why I lost money on them. Uh, these expired worthless actually, but I was playing that to hedge kind of my put positions just in case because I did hold those kind of into that week. But you guys could see now what I did. And starting off too, if you're familiar. You'll notice I played another one of these calls. I took some profits on that between the seventh and eighth, and that's actually after I um I bought some puts, took money even on that, 
uh, upside one time, but not nothing too substantial. But you're going to see what I did with the puts. I took longer terms and I they weren't really longer terms. It was November. It was about a month out. And <clears throat> I'm going to talk about this in another video of kind of finding the balance between, uh, you know, the duration and the strike price. Because if you're predicting a move, you really are going to maximize your gains by going for a better strike versus better time. Uh, but then you do got to be careful with weeklies because, you know, you're going to have a margin of error if you're wrong. And that's what you have to watch out for. <clears throat> but I played in December. So what I want to do, I think these are kind of the main, you'll see the main puts kind of, we'll go through the dates, I'll go through the option. And what I want to do is kind of just write down what we could have done and how we could have done it better. So um, we could take the call. That was, let's see, maybe we should do it by date. Um, I think, yeah, I think this is the best place to start. So, okay, it's starting with the big gain, but maybe um, we'll open and close. So this first play, I guess, was the call. Uh, I guess, yeah, because I closed everything around the 15th. So this one, let's take a look back. You're not going to see now. I bought it for 196, only one, sold it for 340, made 135. But now when I go through the chain, if that option expired, what I'm going to be looking at is the day I bought it. I bought it on November 7th. So that's in really what I could do is look if I bought one week out or I'm going to compare it to the December and look at, okay, how much did I pay for this? What could I paid for something else? And I'm going to look at where the price is and where it was comparatively. So 11.7, we'll look at the November 23rd. Uh, I could have bought these for 55. No, that's a put. What am I saying? So which ones did I get? 372.50 call? Shit. So these are worthless. Uh, so yeah, November 7th. And, and again, that was probably a great sell. So November 7th, that same call I bought, and that would probably make sense. You know, I paid $200 for it, but this at the cheapest was like 350 all the way up to 600 So on November 7th, I think that's probably why I didn't go out even one week. And that is the downside now with Boeing. And you'll probably see I'm trying to snipe the cheap ones. When Boeing's cheap, it's cheap. And again, it does good. But here's the caution on Boeing. It is a slow mover. You know, I've hit it during these trends. It, it does this little thing, you know. And, and again, I think it just coinciding directly with the type of news that's coming out is just not good for the company and expectations. So that's one end of it. But that makes sense why I didn't buy that. And even in that play, if I did, I'm looking at that trade saying, hey, if I bought that held, was this a good sell? I probably now on a broader sense, if I'm saying, hey, if I bought now and held, I would have lost that money. That was a good trade. I came out 135, but I would like to see during the day. However, I would have reviewed this trade earlier uh, before the contract expired to be able to make that determination. So we could write that play down. Uh, where was it? So that was a november 16 372.50 call uh bought it at 196 so 196 bucks sold for 340 135 profit 140 135 net profit Okay, so, um, and then pretty much the determination on that play, I'm, I'm, I, I will probably actually have a template for you guys. Uh, we'll get that at the next cult meeting, don't worry. But essentially, if held to expiration would be net loss. If bought one week out, uh, <laughs> net loss and was going for, 350 to I believe like 690. So I'm noting that information to see, you know, what would have been the potential risk. And then again, same net, net same net outcome, bought, in, bought one week out, I would have lost more money. And it's again, the trade wouldn't have been there. Another thing too, to go over would also be hit in December and seeing again, 372 and so, and, and again, too, all of these calls are going to be down. It would have been the same scenario. You could write these down, but again, you could even write a broader note on really what has occurred 
And if we, another thing to do is look, if you went closer to the money, what would have been the effect? Now, again, let's look at the underlying with Boeing. This thing got fucking killed. So <laughs> that explains what happened to these calls, especially where it's, you know, it's literally broken and hit a one year low. Again, the timing was was just good. And like I said, when these moments are happening, market volatility, whether it's going to be a drop or a bounce, I'm looking at Boeing. Um, so there's that. Uh, again, we could take those extra notes. So we'll get that call out of the way. The next one, 11.6, but then the next sales were 11.15. So we could focus on these. So, well, actually, I think we have to focus on these because 11.6 is when I started buying the put. So I bought in, uh, I think, two, uh, was it two? No, I think I just sold in two separate batches. That's why it's showing up. So I bought, um, how many did I get of those? 270s. So I bought four of the 270s and I bought three on October, or excuse me, November 6th for 50 cents each. So it was $150 after commissions, 154.06. And I sold them on the 20th, about 14 days later for 1284. So now those were December 24th, first uh, 270 puts. So again, we could go over that December and those were now the 270 puts. Those are good, right? No. So here's where these things are at now. Um, when did we get them? 11.6. So here, we got them for about 50 cents. You guys could see that. And we can overlay Boeing. It might get a little confused. I don't know. It looks clean. So Boeing was actually just trading at 367, uh, believe it or not. Uh, I think Boeing actually looked pretty fucking good. Um, so I think my chart go back. So yeah, Boeing was kind of creeping. Uh, no, 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 not from all time highs. Hold on. No, yeah, Boeing was bouncing pretty nice. So Literally bought it right at the high, 11.7. Uh, <laughs> Again, the data was coming out. I, I was just double checking. I was like, no way, I bought it literally. That was a pretty good fucking point. Um, again, that's not even technicals. I, 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 you guys see this, you know, there's some cult shit. I think, honestly, dude, let's be real right now. Technical analysis is a fucking cult. See, that's a fucking real, that's a real ass cult brainwashing motherfuckers thinking <laughs> that lines and shit, because that had, this had nothing to do with any of that shit. So <laughs> there's a good good top tick on it. Again, look at the videos. And you guys saw what happened the next day uh, or the next coming days. You know, I think it was a Friday. And then that was, again, down Friday, down Monday. Boom. And I think you guys could even see I put on more trades from there, too. Um, I even got some of those calls just in case. But I, I fucked up on some of these. I fucked up on a lot. I left a lot of money on the table. So that's what we're going to try to figure out here. <clears throat> but I got those for 50 cents each. I bought four of them uh, and I sold them out on the 20th. So let's take a look. We saw that drop. Maybe we'll put up Boeing here. <clears throat> so we bought it at the 7th. And then on the 20th, where was the stock? Uh, great. Really at the bottom. Um, so on the 20th, and that's where we want to see. I, and that's, you could tell, I sold it around the bottom uh i think i remember actually i sold those right off in the morning and how we could i think we could tell just by looking at the i think I, if that that was on the 20th it should yeah it should be here i think that's the 20th right yeah that's the 20th so we could go back three days and you guys could see um at at the price i sold it so those were the 270 puts yeah i sold them for 430. that's a great sell yeah so as you guys, I'm up here. I'm up. I'm up with these fucking guys. Um, <laughs> now that this is a great learning lesson on this, and this is how I maximize it. Because one, it was a thousand percent gain. Take the money on those. But you could even see what I did. I had three or four. I sold three of them. I sold three of them, cashed out. I held the other one, but again, I saw it kind of. Bam. I waited. I and I think it went up to like four seventy, you know, or four sixty yeah, at four eighty. But I, you know, it came back down. I sold out. Got rid of the last one. So. That was on that day, but you'll even see that was all I took on that day. But you wait till you see what I fucked up. That was the main profit. So on these plays, I could have maximized it. So we could put um, and even holding till today. Let's see. You know, the put right now is at 186. So this was a good play. And these are the plays I like because I got it at a good point. I would still be up 300 percent if I held. 
it's not a bad point, but I really did get to maximize, you know, the gain on it, but I still could have held. However, if I held till expiration or till today, I would have made what? 300% instead of a thousand percent. And th these are the notes we want to take on this. So December 21st, 270 put, um, what do we bought? Bought for, I think 150 for four of them or no, 200 for four of them, 200 for four. Uh, and then, oh wait, so then this play made a lot more money. I, I just counted those separately. So then this play was 200 to, to 1600. That's yeah, same shit. Uh, <laughs> but <clears throat> what are our notes on here? Bought for 200, sold for, okay, 1600. Uh, what's that? 1400 net. Um, if held to expiration today, <clears throat> would be up 300% or 186 a contract. A contract. So again, took it good uh, if we bought one week out or closer to the money now. So this one, this is when, if you're up on the play, the next big thing is saying, okay, what if I bought closer to the money now? Would that have been a better decision for me? So uh, let's go back, um, let's take a look. So on, and how much, again, it probably would be a better decision, but again, how much and what would have been the risk reward? So. If I really sniped these, you could have got these at 65 cents. Wow, you could have got the same price maybe, but it seems like a dollar. You would have paid double for the 300s, but you would be up 700% um, instead of up 300%. So that's actually pretty good. So we could say that if it went to 300 put for double the price, the same, <coughs> same date, you would be up 106 to 706. So hopefully I'm writing it in my language that I understand. Hopefully you guys can understand the same thing. But again, you're seeing, do you guys see what I'm doing is going over the plane, trying to optimize it. So again, for future reference. So that pretty much wraps it up. We could have played it how I could have done better. Um, I think the sell was good. We bought it at a good time. We sold it at a good time. You know, we really, literally, we took advantage of it. We will see how this play unfolds. And now this could be something to re get into. And now also, this is what I'm looking for. Now you could tell which contracts are holding a premium versus these 270s. They're not really gaining, you know, I, I could get them cheaper for what I sold them for. But again, I do remember, I do know what I paid. So again, I bought those at 50 cents, $50 of, of not too long ago. So see, puts are still holding expensive, you know, pricing and we're going to see what's going to happen. But I am going to be eyeballing these Boeings. But it's clear the best play I could have probably done was going closer to the money because now different plays, as you see, moving up to those, it, it was like, wow, these are like $1.32. So, wow. But I think that's the now Boeing, Boeing has a big spread. But if I could have snagged those actually, shit, those were same date. Those are awesome. So now let's see i don't want to go i don't even want to look at these we already went over the call these are the ones that fucked me uh, <laughs> because i well these are the weeklies november 16th but i could have done a lot better on these because again i made 480 bucks but you'll you, you guys will see what i did um <laughs> november 16 330 so again let's go to the november 23rd the one week out but the 330 put man so what were those going for on the 12th on the 12th, they were going for 70 cents to like a dollar 30. I don't even want to look at what I paid. I paid 50 cents. Yeah, dude, I could have got them. <laughs> so if I even I could have got them around the same price, I could have paid 50 percent more. I shouldn't have been cheap on it. I put five hundred dollars or again, in this case, it, it's a weekly. I got a lot of contracts for only five hundred dollars. But how I could have, you know, and I, I still made money on it again. I want to know how I did better. But. How I could do this is go about the um, price, the open net amount. If I made, you know, if I paid 524, I want to look through the option chain and see what would my alternatives be. And again, what date was that? Uh, November 12th. 
man, these are great pickups on Boeing, you guys. Y'all fucking sleeping. Yeah, has to do with the volatility and when boeing kind of drops and has these big up days you know and it does this the contracts can be killed be, you know don't let me uh, you know some of these contracts i've taken profit on or let expired i was up at 10 i was up three four thousand percent and i let them go um just be careful uh boeing is um <clears throat> that's what i'm saying watch her please somebody wa watch her for a couple weeks and then decide a player she is a mind fuck but awesome stock but again, I, I paid 500 bucks November 12th. Is that really, did I get it really November 12th? Yeah, okay. So November 12th, uh, and I put 500 bucks. So I could have done better in the sense I could have got, man, what could I really have gotten? That's crazy. No, that would have been, that would have been too expensive. See, I, I wouldn't know what I would have, I, I could tell what I would have paid. No, November 12th. So if I could have got one of these and they would be at thirty fucking five hundred dollars, maybe that. See, so <clears throat> that might have been the opt. That that would have been optimal. So we say if we went three fifty two instead. So let's let's start getting this one. This one is going to be crazy. Um, November nineteenth, three thirty put, three thirty put. 10 contracts for 50 each because that's to know I'm noting how many contracts because that was obviously an influence for 104 each do 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 c484 is what I made on that Ugh. see and you guys see why I'm fucking shooting myself in the foot because or I'm moaning to myself because the 352s and what was Boeing at at the time? Oh, that's like at the money. So that was like at the money. So that, but even then it was five, it was the same amount I spent on the other one. I could have went one week out instead of buying 10 contracts, I could have bought one and that one contract would have been up now that same 500 bucks on the same date would be at $3,500 right now. So that's what I want to know. Um, <clears throat> should have most op. I'd say this is the most optimal. And why I say that is because <clears throat> it's literally converting the most amount of contracts I bought for the least amount of contracts at the same net value. I bought 10 contracts for 500. So I'm saying, what can I get? What could I got one contract for 500? So now we're going to see the other options, but should have most optimal one week further and I, I haven't looked at december yet well i don't even want to look at december actually well maybe let's take a look let's take a look at december and that could give us a better idea because yeah we would have got closer to the money about 500 i say one of these is more oh no no liquid is that the same one did we get 330 yeah, November. Oh, man. So it's literally 10 times cheaper. That would have been no, but see, so one more week would have got us an extra thousand bucks. But yeah, so December was still pretty good. The December would have been safer, though, because you could still be holding that now. And even during the you, you would have been that would have been again, you could have it would have been very, very good. Um, more comfortable, to say the least. Uh, and I think that's how you could see because the November 23rd, I'm sure the day I sold in November 23rd, if you go back to that, like 350, that, that was the one I think we had. Yeah, it it, it went up, but it, you know, these were 50% drops, 1300 to 600, you know, and we bought it at 500, you know, that's a lot different than the December chart we just had up where you bought, you know, you, you didn't really, you, you went to 500, you were up a hundred bucks, even when it came down at the very lowest. So that was the December would have been easier to hold, but most optimal would have been November 23rd, 352 put, um, bought for 500 holding now at 3,800. 
on the bed. Uh, safest or easiest to hold December 21st, um, 3.30. And that was like, why? Oh, 3.50, no. 3.30, that was 480, 500 to, well, again, I'm assuming high, 500, 500 holding at 2100, 21, 21. So not bad. Um, hmm. But again, I made 500 bucks on that. But as you see, both of these plays, I could, I, you know, I, I left probably like 1500 to two G's. Again, I would figure we could figure out that math. I need a mathematician to do that. But that was one. And here's what happened. I sold it early. Uh, that's all that happened. I sold it on the 15th. That's when I sold. I bought it on the 12th. All of these plays I sold on the 15th. I sold into strength there. I just wanted out of it. And again, I was holding the weeklies on it. So those are, and that makes sense why. So now when I'm looking at this, I could go over these trades and start to figure out, hey, this is probably going to be my most optimal situation of what I should have done. And now even the next day, I did the same thing. Uh, I bought five contracts of the December 290s. Uh, what did I get those for? I need water. Uh, I fucked up on those too. See, 290s bought for 140, sold them the next day for 222. Again, took another $400 profit. That was a bigger amount. And these plays suck. You see, these this play could have done better. This play, I took a small percentage, but again, I was just up during that day. I wanted to take profit. Again, locking in profits was is usually my best strategy. Uh, <laughs> but I think I bought them on the 14th, sold the next day at the 15th. But yeah, I, I would still be up 400%. Could have sold for a thousand. And wow, that's that's the even crazier part. So again, on these, uh, how many did I have? Five of them. Okay, fuck my life. Uh, <laughs> That was awful. December 21st, uh, 290. And then, oh yeah. So reason for not making as much. Sold early, sold in morning off dump. What did I remember from that day? How was I feeling? I think I was just in the mindset. I was more, more in the mindset of taking profits because of last week and contracts were expiring that week could have made better decisions um with date with date and similar amount go for more expensive contract Maybe I don't want to confuse. I don't want to give myself too much of a direction, but that's that's the notes I want to take because that is a play I want to see why I didn't get what I did on that. So, hmm, that one's interesting. Why did I sell it there? And in now the next part I was going to show you guys is I took profits. You know, I, I said what are these ones? I didn't sell the twentieth, but this is but these allowed me to hold this one up to the, the perfect bottom top tick because I sold profits on these, you know, both of these, I made the bigger plays. I already made seven, 800 bucks alone just from those two flips. And that covered more than, you know, I was already up, you know, six, 700% on this one or 400% on this one. And that covered it. And I think I, you know, I did a similar play all before the day I sold, made another, you know, I was already up 1100 bucks on Boeing. I, I was taking the profit. So could have let, uh, you know, could have took more risk, honestly. Could have taken more risk, netted 1100 before the big move, hold longer, larger position, or balance equally. And that's the balance between capital and you know how much I'm holding versus you know what I put in in the profit and what I'm taking out kind of and leaving, letting ride there. So. That one I could have I could have done a lot better. Uh, that was a 290. Is that one? No. We still got to look at this one. So this one, oh, yeah. I don't man. I, that was the last one. 
I don't, I, I don't, man, fuck my life. <laughs> I don't want to go. I'm getting tired here. And I don't want this video to be too long, but this one sucks, man. 290 put uh, December. And then this November was just a flip on the put. But I think, oh, the dates. That was good. Why, why didn't I make 320 put? Hold up. That one's still, that one's still in play. Let's see how that one looks. Oh, did I fuck up on this one? I bought for 138, sold for 490, and it's trading at 730. When did I buy it? 1116, sold 1119. Yeah. Oh, I sold it the day before. I sold, ah, but that wasn't good. I topped, I, I would I get on it though. No, I sold it for like 400. Yeah, I remember selling that one early. No, I remember selling that one early during the day. So that one, eh, I could have made what? Another $300 on that one. And this, I think this was the big play. It's funny. This, this is, I'm not going to do this one. I'm going to, I'm not going to type the notes on it. I'm just going to talk. We're going to talk this one out. Uh, <laughs> which one was it? The 290 put. Yeah. So these ones I bought for 140. I bought five of them. So right now I pay, I paid what? 700 for them. They would be worth, uh, 2000 bucks, 2000 and some change. Um, but I could have sold them for at one point five thousand dollars, so I could have took those literally five hundred to seven hundred to five thousand bucks if I just held top ticked. But even if I held today, I'd still be up on it. Um, and I, that one I just sold too early. I bought one day, sold the next. These ones, these see, and these were day trades. But then again, uh, one was the duration what fucked me. And I think I, I had a lot of exposure here. I started to get heavy after the gains started hitting. But I was uh, you know more convicted in this but there's that those are the plays you guys could see kind of how i'm going over it this is how i study myself this is you know we're always still learning so i encourage you guys to do something of this nature uh, this is what i want to do with you guys when you bring trades and now the next level is analyzing you know the underlying move you see this is how we understand the options chain and the next level is now understanding why did i pick boeing what do we look for in companies during certain market environments? What companies are more likely to move? And now how much are they going to move and what are going to yield these results? And now the best thing we could always do, and this is why we need guys like everybody in everything looking at this stuff so we could have people understanding, hey, this sector is popping off or this is it. So we could compare what is performing the best at what time. And, you know, that's how markets, there's always going to be winners and losers in that sense. So I'll leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed your first uh, cult meeting. I think I might just put these videos out at midnight. I think that'll be a cool idea. Um, but yeah, that's very culty. I think we should do that. Like 11.59 is when I'll drop them. So it's still like Sunday. That's a good one. Or 4 a.m., 4 a.m. So you guys start waking up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. maybe on you know, Monday. 5 a.m. Monday, should that be our thing? I'll see how long this is. Maybe 4 or 5 a.m. Monday, that could be a cult meeting. So. I love you guys. I'm glad you guys are here. Hopefully this helped you out. We'll talk about some of this other stuff. Give me some questions for the next cold meeting and we'll have some other plays. I have a ton of plays to go over actually with you, but you guys see, you know, these videos take me more time. I can't just sit in my chair and walk around. So give me some, give me some good feedback on this, but I love you guys. Subscribe. Good night. Good morning. Cool.